Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I continue to build the Agora Model Shelby GT500 Super Snake. I am working on pack number 11. Look at the size of the box. We have a lot of parts and a lot of assembly to go on with this. We'll be working on stages 83 through 90. Now, we have a lot of body parts and panels that we're going to be installing here, so it's quite a long video. Don't worry, I put chapters down below that you can skip through to the different chapters and see what you want to see built within my video here. Anyway, if you haven't done so already, head over to Agora Models and subscribe to this car today. Let them know I sent you. That's SMKR. Now, they also have the uh, T-800 Terminator, which I am building, and I should have that completed here very soon. And also their new release which is the Jaguar and I'm in the process of building that also it's a beauty so without further ado let's get started Tough car, huh? Mustangs. They're tough. Welcome back to the Agora Model Shelby GT500 Super Snake. And I received pack 11 in the mail. It's a very large box, as you can see with it compared to my hands here. We'll open this up. Contained inside the box are eight stages. Stages 83 through 90. Give me a moment. I'll take these out and we'll look at all the stages individually and then we'll get started on pack 11. I'll go ahead and highlight all the stages that came with pack 11. This is stage 83. See how it's packed here. Let me take this out. We'll get a closer look. And of course, this is the main body section. And beautiful paint job on this. Underside there. And the other side. Back end. Roof line is fantastic. And located in the wrapping for the car, don't forget your screws are contained here in the wrapping. They are MD06 screws. Here's parts pack 84. And this is the upper and lower side scoops. And stage 85 is a hood, front grille, and high beam headlights. Stage 86 is the hood hinges. Stage 87, center light bracket, horns, hood pins, fog light lenses, LED system, and wire holders. Stage 88, trunk lid, lock, and Shelby emblem. Stage 89, the lower rear body section, trunk hinges, and brackets. And the last stage for pack 11 is stage 90. Stage 90 includes the rear lights, LED wires, gas cap, gas pipe, and cable holders. Let's get started on stage 83.
Welcome back. Here's the parts included with stage 83. And this would be the main body section. And then the screws that we received are the MD06. We received five of those. A close up look at it again. I know you saw this earlier. Very nice. I like the ridge on the roof there. Running all the way back to the trunk area. And there you have it. So they give us a warning in the instructions to make sure that you put this down on something soft, a soft cloth, and that's what I have done already. I've put down a soft cloth down below it so that way you don't mar or scratch up the paint finish on this. Now I'm going to need to bring over the front half of the car, which was the front fenders. And here's the front fenders that we assembled in the previous pack. And I'm going to turn it over. We need to lubricate the mounting points, which are located on each end here. I left it loose. You can see that those screws aren't tight on the front here, just so we have a little play going on. I'm going to lubricate those screw holes, the Vaseline that I use all the time. Actually, I'm going to turn this over. And we're going to put the fenders on. We're going to mount right down where they need to go. And I'm going to hold these in place with some tape. held together there. Alright, so I've already taped it down so it kind of holds it in place for us. And I'm going to flip this over carefully. And the holes have been pre-lubricated. MD06 screws go into this. Get the other side going too. Definitely helps to put some lubrication on these to get them started. And the last one. And that's good there. I'll go ahead and remove the tape. This is low tack tape you want to use, like a painter's tape. You don't run the risk of peeling any of the paint off or anything like that. Flip this over. Go ahead and tighten down these screws here. I'm going to do that off camera, but um, I had them loose on both sides on the front of the car. And that completes stage 83. I think this is beautiful. I couldn't wait to get to this point in the build. That we now have the Mustang assembled, the body itself. Now for the rest of this pack, we'll start adding stuff to it. So let's head over to stage 84. Here's the parts pack for stage 84. Let me take these out and we'll get a closer look. And here's a close up of those parts. These are the lower right and left scoops and they are made of plastic. They are marked on the back side, either an L or an R. 
and we also receive the upper side scoops and they are also made of plastic and they are also marked with an L or an R and we received MP01 screws seven of them next we go ahead and put the scoops on so I'm going to turn the car over and we're going to reveal the left side of the car here so we're going to be putting on the scoops that were marked with the L for the left side so that simply just goes down right on top of that this is plastic so we don't have to worry about lubricating it if I turn it over and MP01 screw goes into that that's good there go ahead and put the upper scoop on next and same thing here's our upper scoop it is also marked with an L we're going to put that in place there just like that turn this over And once again, an MP01 screw goes into this. Two of them. And the last one going in. And that looks great there. Both scoops are in. Go ahead and do the other side. Tighten up the other one just a tiny bit. Good. And there's the scoops on that side. And that completes stage 84. I think they look great. Let's go over to stage 85. And welcome back. Here's the parts pack for stage 85. Don't forget you can head over to agoramodels.com and download the kit instructions so you can build this following those instructions. So let me uh, take these parts out and we'll get a closer look. I'll be right back. Here's the parts for stage 85 and of course we received the hood very nice there I like the louvers that are on that very cool the bottom side nice profile right you have the Mustang profile there in the hood love it and we receive the uh, front grill surround this is made of plastic but it's chrome plated very nice and the front grill and that's like a real thick photo etch and the Cobra symbol called the uh, Shelby emblem give you a close-up of that and the right and left headlights and they are marked on the back what side they are this would be the left side and this would be the right side and MDO2 screws so it's recommended in the next step that you wear some safety glasses for this because we're going to be using an exacto knife to bend some tabs on this grill now with the grill you want to make sure that you position it to where the inserts for the emblem are on the left side and they're just slightly higher on the grill so you can see that it is slightly higher and we're going to take our exacto blade and we're going to bend these tabs that are sticking out towards me there 
There's one. And do the other one. There's the other. Okay, so I got those bent out. Kind of see them sticking up there just a tiny bit. Now they tell me to turn the grill over and we're going to insert the emblem. Feed that through. Just like that. That's how that looks there. Now we got to take these, we got to bend these back gently. Just like that. taking care that I don't bend the grill. This is very delicate. And the last two. Okay, so they're all bent back. Now we bring over our headlight surround or grill surround as they call it and we're going to insert that into the surround. And we take and bend those back. Just like that. there and one there. Great. And that's how the grill looks there. Looks good. I'll bring over the front of our Mustang. We've had this assembled for a long time. And we're going to insert the grill in the front here, just like that. But first, I need to lubricate those holes. I'm going to lay something down so I don't mar up the paint. 
insert our grill again. MDO2 screw goes into this. One on each side here. Go ahead and tighten it down now. See how that looks now. Looks great. Now we put in our headlights. And when we put our headlights in, give you an example here. They are marked left and right. And so this is going to go in on the right side. And when we insert it, we insert it from the front. But they say to make sure that the tilt is like that. See how it's tilted? Angled down. So that will be on top. And you can see there's a screw on top there. So that indicates the top of it. So let me bring over the grill. And this will go in on the right side. And your screw needs to be on top, just like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Left side. Screw on top. And that looks good. That's what the grill and everything else looks like. I think it looks great. And that's complete stage 85. Let's head to stage 86. Welcome back. Let's look at stage 86, and these are all the hood hinge parts. So give me a second and I'll take these out and we'll get a closer look. These are all the parts for the hood hinges, and we have a left and a right side uh, hinge support. We also have hood hinge brackets, and all four of those are plastic. We receive the left hinge and the right hinge, and those are made of metal. And they actually rotate. And the springs themselves for the hinges. Uh, MP03, MD09, MD10, MP10, and MD12. Alright. So we now, now we start installing the hood hinges. So in order to do that, we need to turn the hood over. Make sure you put your protective cover down so you don't scratch the paint which I'm doing right there and we're going to take our hood hinge itself this plastic one here and we're going to line that up you can see there's a notch here on the bottom it's going to line up with the notch on the hood and we put an MD tent into this 
I'm going to go ahead and lubricate this first because it is metal. Put that back on. Get that started. And that looks good. Next, we grab our left hood hinge bracket itself. It does have an L on it. And we're going to line up our bracket here. And remember when you install an MP10, you don't tighten it down all the way because it needs to be able to rotate. And like I said, be careful I don't over tighten this. And that's good there. So we bring this over, make sure it's facing like that, that all bracket, metal bracket up front, and it's going to be on the channel, just like that. MP10 goes into it again. Once again, we do not want to over tighten this because you want it to be loose so it can run up and down the channel. That's good there. And next, we line this up. Go ahead and lubricate it. We'll line that up again. And once again, we do not want to over tighten this. Next, put our spring on, and that's going to loop into that, and then onto the hinge. Okay, I'm going to loop this bracket in. There. Make sure it's up all the way like it is now. And I'm going to loop that onto the bracket just like that. Easier to do it while it's up all the way. And then we're going to lock it in with our screw. There we go. And that's how that functions. Okay. There we go. Good. Okay, I'm going to do the other side and I'll be right back. And both hood hinges are installed. And that's how that works. Now we need to install these onto the car. 
bring the car over. Now I brought the car body over. We need to slide the hood that has the hinges already in from underneath. Kind of do it at, at an angle for both sides. You can see that it's both they're both kind of inserted there. And then we bring it over. But first I want to lubricate the holes. Now we'll go down all the way. Okay. And slide the hood on it all the way back. Just like that. MD12 screws go into this. They are tight. I'll go ahead and turn this over. And there's our hood. Now we need to adjust the hood a little bit on the left side here. So I'm going to loosen those two bolts on the front. Or the screws they are. Now I can tighten those down. And that's good. And see how the hood operates? Beautifully. Beautifully. Like that. And back up. Great. That's all we do for stage 86. Let's go to stage 87. Welcome back. Here's the parts pack for stage 87. And got a lot to do here, installing some horns, uh, the center light bracket, hood pins, fog light lenses, LED system, and wire holders. So let me take these parts out and we'll get a closer look. And welcome back. Here's a close-up of those parts. And I'm going to leave these in here so that way I don't lose them. But we'll talk about what they are. So right here we have the side wire clips. That's these four items here. We have the front wire holder. Of course, we have the hood pins down below. We have the center light bracket, two horns. We have the hood pin plates, fog light lenses, left he headlight LED, and the right headlight LED. The screws included are MP01, MD05, and MD06. And welcome back. We'll go ahead and get started on the first step, which is to install these horns. I apologize for the air conditioner. As you know, I live in Tucson, and it gets very hot here, so the air conditioner is running. So we need to lift up the hood, and we'll give you a close-up on how these horns go. So if you look at the horn, when you actually uh, mount it in place, you want to have it uh, with the horn this part right here with that opening facing forward just like that and it's going to go on that bracket just like that we're going to put an MD01 screw into this do the other side 
same thing. It's going to go down on top of that like that and put our screw in. Perfect. And that's how that goes. Next we put our hood bracket in and it only goes in one way. It's going to go in just like that. There's two holes on the front of the grill of uh, a core support for the radiator that this goes into and it goes into metal so we need to lubricate those holes. They're going to be right here. It's hard for you to see. Um, lubricate those holes. MDO5 screws go into that. One there. go. That's what that looks like there. Two screws. Next we put our hood pins in. Let me get those out. It looks like they just snap in place. They are They do have a flat edge to them, so that they only go in one way. Snapped in there. Kind of see what that looks like there. Do the other side. Only goes in one way once again. Support it from the bottom so it doesn't snap off. And that's good. Put pin is in. With the front end, we'll go ahead and pull our wire bundle out. And we're calling for wire bundle number seven. And that's this one right here. And that's going to feed into the left side. Let me put a towel down. I'm going to turn this over. So I'm going after the left side here. And we're going to take Our wire bundle number seven here. Now we want to take the wire that has two wires coming out of it, just like this one here. You have the plug on this far end, and then you have the single wire on that end. So we take our wire number seven, where it's two wires coming off of it. You have an LED on one side and the plug on the other. So we're going to plug the two wires going in into the headlight. This is wire number seven. For number eight, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to plug that into the right side, same way. Perfect. Okay, so we want to run these wires through this channel here, both of them. Okay. And they're going to come out the top, both of them are, because they're eventually going to get put into
so we'll put our holder in Just like that. And you can see how they're running through this. And they're going to run right there and right there. So number seven's on the left, number eight's on the right. Okay. Turn this over, and we're going to be putting in our little parking lights on the bottom, fog lights, and your fog lights just snap in place. Press that in with a paintbrush. It's good there. Same thing on the other side. And that's in. Secured in place. And there's your both fog lights in. Now we take our wires here and we want to hide them behind the grill. So we'll pull some slack out a little bit here. And these are going to bend over towards the out, out, outward side, just like that. Same thing on the other side. Take some slack, and they're going to bend outward. Now we bring our chassis over because we're going to install this on the front of the car. Go ahead and uh, lubricate these holes that I know I'm putting screws into. Okay. Now they want us to feed our wires through the, there's holes here on the front of the core support, the radiator support. So those will go through both sides. Just like that. Then this grill should mount right up front, just like that. Wow, that's nice. Okay. So, I need to get my screws ready. Put one screw in two, MD06. One there. Do the other side. And get them all started. Which they are. Okay. That's good. And we're going to secure our wire cables in place and they run down along 
here and there. So we just secure these clips down here. Like that. And with this wire you want to run it over the top of that mount point, run it down and into the channel where those clips go. And just like that. Okay, so those are all secured in place. I'm going to go ahead and turn this over. Put in these hood pinch covers. And they're angled. They just snap in. And you can see where they're just kind of angled there. The tabs are. So the next step is we insert these lanyards and they insert in the bottom holes here and they insert into the bottom hole there then they get twisted up Same with the other side. And I finally got the hood pins to work. I had to remount the holes in the pin itself that goes onto the chassis in order for the hood pin to go into it. So I use this little drill bit to ream it out. But basically, you unclip it, and the pin comes out like that. Notice the pin has a, a half hook on it. Make sure that's facing up. Put that through the pin, and then you can hook your, your little circle to that, and it stays in place. And that's all we do for stage 87. It's a lot of fun installing the hood, the hood pins and the front grill looking great so far so stand by we're going to go to stage 88 next and welcome back here's the parts pack for stage 88 and looks like we have the trunk lid here i'll go ahead and take this out and we'll get a closer look and here's a close-up of the trunk lid Great. This is the underside. Very nice there. And we also receive the Shelby emblem, trunk lock, and MD11 screws. Go ahead and install the trunk lock onto the trunk itself. So we turn this over. And it simply just goes down on that, just like that. MD11 screws go into this. Go ahead and tighten it down with a bigger one. Bigger screwdriver helps out here in this case. And that looks good there. Next we go ahead and put our emblem in. Same thing, it's a Cobra emblem. Inserts into that. 
Here's a close-up of that emblem. And that's all we do for stage 88. Let's go to stage 89. And welcome back. Here's the parts pack for stage 89, which is the lower rear body section, trunk hinges, and brackets. So let me take these out and we'll get a closer look. And here's a close-up of those parts. This is the lower rear body part, made out of metal, of course. And continue on with the, the blue striping. Very nice there. Left trunk hinge, the right trunk hinge trunk brackets, or the hinge brackets, MD02 and MD06. First thing we're going to do is going to attach the lower rear body part to the rear end of the car. And you can see it's going to insert into the back side here. There's six attachment points. Two here, two right there, and two right there. I went ahead and pre-lubricated those holes. I'm going to go ahead and put a soft mat down so we can turn this over and get our screws installed. We're going to be putting six MD02 screws in. Okay, so I'm going to bake this up to the back end of the car. Just like that. And put our screws in six of them that need to go in. And there we go. That back panel is on. Now we're going to install the hinges onto the trunk lid. We'll turn the trunk lid over. And the hinge goes on just like that, where it's facing inward, the tab here. It's facing inward. Pre-lubricated the holes already. MD06 screw goes in. Facing inward. All right. Looks good there. Let me move this out of the way and bring over the body. Now we have the trunk ready to go. It simply slides in into those slots right there, each side, which I already have them in place there. This hole there. Lubricate that one and that one. And the mount bracket goes down on top of that. Once again, an MD06 screw goes into it. There we go. And complete. So our trunk is installed. Turn it over. And there you go. It even stays open. And that completes stage 89, where we installed uh, the rear body panel and the trunk and hinges. That's how that works there. It looks great. Let's go ahead and do the last stage, which is stage 90. I'll be right back. Welcome back. This is the final stage for pack 11, and this is stage 90. So in stage 90, it looks like we're going to be putting in the tail lights and some LED lights and such, the gas cap. So let me take these out, and I'll be right back. Here's a close-up of those parts. Here's the gas cap, the gas cap base, the gas pipe holder, right light holder, the right left light holder, the right 
rear tail lights, the left rear tail lights, cable clips for the wiring, and those are cable clips B and A, a hinge here, gas cap hinge, wires, LED lights themselves, 0, 09 and 0, 010. MP01, MP02, MP05, and MP07. Go ahead and go out of sequence here a little bit, and I'm going to work on the gas cap hinge here first. So we're going to be installing a hinge on this gas cap to where the gas cap opens and closes. Um, you know, it will twist and open up, but this is uh, the hinge here, very tiny. MP07 screws for this. Okay, don't want to over tighten this. So insert it through the hinge first. and then up against the cap. And that worked really good. how that looks. Bring over the, the body so we can get this installed. So we're going to put this gas support in. We want to make sure this notch is facing up, which is cars upside down, so it's going to be going down and down direction first. It's going to go into that slot right there. MP05 holds it in place. And you can kind of see where I went into with that right there. Next they want us to assemble the gas cap. And then the gas cap inserts. There's two holes that it inserts into. Just like that. Two MPO2 screws hold that in place. And that's good there. Next we put in these tail lights. Now these tail lights are marked left and right. So the, this is the left side. And this is the right side. So they simply insert just like that. Get out our LED lights. This is wire bundle number 10. That's going to insert in on the back side. There's four holes for the LEDs. We need to run the wire towards the side of the car with this. Just like that. 
and we run the cover on it and I would assume that the cover has the notch on the top here near the end and we're going to line that up with the holes and MPO1 will hold this in place and just leave it loose for now At least that's what they say. And our wiring goes around. Like that. Through the channel. And we put uh, number A hold down, it's larger. We go through the channel and we put number B, number C, it's a little smaller. Run our left brake lights. LED wires number nine facing towards the wires and come out here towards the fender. Insert those. MPO1 screws will go into this. We'll put the cover on. Okay, tail lights are on. So the same thing, we run the wire through the channels here. Put the larger cover on. And the smaller cover, number C. Probably runs back up that channel again and runs in this channel right here. And we have B covers, which look like that. Straighten the wire all out here. And B cover again, or clip. There we go. That's pretty much it that we do for this stage. I'll be right back. And that's all we do for stage 90. Looking great. Beautiful car so far. So that was the final stage for pack 11. So stay tuned for pack 12. And you can see it's just a real beauty of a car. 
So she's a real beauty. We did a lot in pack 11. Pretty much most of the body is done. There's a few things that still need to go on like the windows and the doors and such. But she's a real beauty. So I have one more pack to build. That's pack 12. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for all video upload notifications. Head over to agoramodels.com and subscribe to this car today. It's fantastic. I'm loving it. Happy modeling, everybody. And take care.